Hey, Megan Scully, and this is the Limer Post Show. I'm delighted now to be chatting to Dr. Brida Cosgrove all about the brand new COVID tracker app. Brida, thank you so much for coming on the show. No problem at all, Megan. Thanks very much. Um, let's get straight into it. The COVID app, can you tell us what exactly it is? Yes, so this is a app that you can, it's free of charge. You can download it to your smartphone. It was launched earlier this week and essentially it, its purpose is to help with contact tracing. Um, and the purpose of contact tracing is to help stop the spread of COVID-19 in Ireland. So it's just an, another tool that we can use to augment the existing contact tracing program that's happening at the moment. And I think the great thing about the app is, especially now with pubs opening shortly, restaurants are already open and with all the phases you know, moving and people now going around the country to different places, is the fact that, would say for example, I'm going to a restaurant this evening, if by chance someone in their test is positive for COVID-19, um, my app will notify me that I was around someone that was COVID positive, meaning I can go and get tested to see whether or not I have, um, have picked up COVID from this person. So I think that's why this app is so vital. And the more people that download, download it, the more, I suppose, cases we can control. Yeah, absolutely. So the app, essentially what it can do for us is that it can alert you um, if you have been in close contact with a person who has tested positive for COVID-19, who's also using the app. Um, if you yourself test positive for coronavirus and you're using the app, you can then anonymously alert those that you have been in close contact with to let them know that they've been exposed to a case um, and that they are potentially at risk of developing the virus. Um, so yes, absolutely, it's very useful to us in terms of contact tracing. And I have the app here on my phone. It's on um, Android and iPhone. And what I really like about it is a daily check-in to say how you're feeling. Um, and it says here that almost 290,000 people have registered how they're feeling today. 99% feeling good, one have some symptoms. So I think it's really yeah. important to see this and to realize the figures. And as well, it gives a daily update of the cases and a very important information for us. And one thing I like about the app, it's very user-friendly. Mm, yeah, absolutely. It's very easy to use. Um, and as of today, there are approximately 940,000 people who are using the app. So they're hoping that within a day or two, we'll be up to 1 million. Yeah. Um, and I mentioned its uses in terms of contact tracing, but you alluded to the check-in function. I think that's really great as well. So basically, like you say, every day you can log in, you can document how you're feeling that day. So you can say, yeah, I'm fine, I have no symptoms. But also you can say, I'm not feeling great today. And then it prompts you and it asks you about, do you have a cough, do you have a fever, any change or loss of smell or taste? Um, and based on what you input um, in, in terms of your symptoms, it gives you some advice. So if you say, yeah, actually I've got a temperature, I have got a really bad cough, it's gonna tell you that you should self-isolate, you should get in contact with your GP and they'll organize for you to get tested. So it's a really good system. Um, I actually put a, a question box on my um, Instagram yesterday, my own personal account, and I just asked, have you downloaded the app? Yes or no? And two thirds said yes, and one third said no. And I know on social media, there has been this kind of apprehension because people think that they're being traced by everything that they're doing, but it's not. It's to trace in case you have been around someone that has coronavirus, someone that's positive. And you know, I suppose the thing is that if you're around someone and you don't know, and then you go around other people, that's what could potentially cause a second wave. So this is hopefully gonna prevent that second wave from happening. Yeah, absolutely. So like you say there, there has been some concern about data protection, privacy, but this app absolutely has been designed to protect the privacy of the people using the app. So it's using um, technologies, Bluetooth and what are known as anonymous IDs. So essentially when you're in close contact with somebody else who is using the app, these um, anonymous IDs are shared between the app. Okay, yeah. so that um, allows for us then to contact trace um, at a later date. So um, if you in turn, in a few days time test positive for coronavirus you can upload the anonymous ids you shared with other app users and this can allow us to alert those close contacts of yours so Definitely. you're not sure if there is um no data shared between the app users and your data is protected and on covidtracker.ie there is a lot of information about 
um, privacy and how we're using the data if people are interested. That is also interesting, as you said there, and I like the way that it will alert you, but in an anonymous way, if you are around someone, as you said, like even if it was a friend or family member um, that you were in close contact with within the past few days, um, you won't know that it was them that possibly exactly. has, has had it, yeah. that, which is, I think is really important for people to know and to understand. Yeah, absolutely. So you're never told who the case is. You can choose to use this app. You can choose to share or not share whatever information you want to. Um, you're not going to be asked for your name, you're not going to be asked for your address, you're not going to be asked um, what your um, name, address, age, that's not asked for at all. Um, at any point you can delete the app, you can update the settings and what you want to share at any point. Um, and again, like I mentioned earlier, this is just another tool that we're using in terms of contact tracing. So if you choose to not use the app at all, that is fine. There is a robust contact tracing system in place um, being taken, undertaken by the public health system um, that should you be in contact with a case, you will be contact traced. Okay, perfect. That's uh, that's good. But I said, if I suppose if people do have um, an Apple phone or an Android phone, and if they can download the app, it obviously would make things a lot easier for everyone involved. And hopefully, as I said, we could stop a second wave coming our way. Absolutely. Yeah, that's the key message. Dr. Rita Cosgrove, thank you so much for chatting to us the Limerick Post Show and for talking to us all about the COVID Tracer app. No bother. Listen, thanks very much, Megan.